What do you really need to prepare your home for the arrival of a new baby? To find out, pick up your copy of the newly released Sane Parents Guide, Getting Your Home Ready for Baby. Available for download at Amazon.com. Brought to you by Dad Labs and Baby Bjorn, two of the most trusted names in the baby care business. At Dad Labs, we usually espouse a very minimalist approach to preparing your home for the arrival of a new baby. Single-use, overly specialized products usually don't make the cut with us. Which is why today we're asking the tough question, do you really need a diaper pail? So the job of the diaper pail is to make sure the stink stays in the pail and out of the house. But do you really need a specialized piece of gear for that? So to find out, we decided to choose three popular models of diaper pail and put them to a rigorous test. Daddy Brad, would you mind describing the methods by which we made our highly scientific findings here in the lab? Certainly. We took diapers and filled them with the only thing that smells worse than baby poo. Which is? Chicken blood catfish bait. <laughs> Oh, it, it actually looks looks real clear. Here we go, just kind of popping up and... We took these pails and we put them in the hot garage to let them gestate. And now we've taken them and put them in individual rooms of my house and we're gonna go and have a sniff test. All right, well, I guess we better go put these diaper pails to the test. Ew. All right, Daddy Clay. The Diaper Genie Elite. Yep, yep, I got a little bait. If I was a catfish, I'd be interested. Yes, you would come to this room. Yeah, that's yeah. A, so that's a one. For one. Me. Yeah, I'll give it a one. Yeah. Okay. 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 So let's do a quick open shut okay. uh, stank test. Ready? Here's the open mm -hmm. shut. Two foot. Okay, down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I'll give that a two. Mm -hmm. good. Okay. 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 Full open. Full open. Direct no stank. Direct no stank. We're gonna keep that open for a while. Okay. Okay. And then just go right in. And... Oh. God. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Even. A... Wow. I was not ready yeah. for that. Five. That's a five. <laughs> five. That's a five. All right. Okay, see. Daddy, Daddy Clay, here we have the Munchkin. Okay, Munchkin. First of all, first test. Room stank. Zero. Okay, then the uh, quick open close stack. Okay, ready? Yeah. Open, and then close again. I want to give that a one. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, full open uh, stack. Yeah, full open stack, yeah. 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 Okay, just get on in there. Okay. Nose to the grindstone. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Ah. Uh, oh, detectable. 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 Uh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm also going to give that a one for okay. here. One. The yeah. Decor uh, Diaper Pail Plus. Lots yeah, of two. Two for me. That's two diapers two. for me. Okay, okay, a quick quick open shut. Open shut. Because it's also yeah. foot operated. Yeah. Okay, okay, again now. Oh! Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. oh. Is it a big one? Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Ready, you're going. Oh, God! Oh, get in there, baby! Get in there! Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, okay. double five. For that's me. a five. five. Yeah, that's a oh. full-on five. So we got. Oh man, that's gross. So to sum up, let's start with the Decor Plus Diaper Disposal System. This scored the lowest in our highly scientific test. Yes, yes. It's it's essentially a, a trash pail. Not a great job of holding in the stank. I don't think we can recommend it. No. Moving on to the Diaper Genie Elite. Uh, for a specialized machine, I thought a surprising level of stank. And what do you think lits, why so stanky? I think, I think it might be this, this joint. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, the, the diapers go in and they're closed. They're not sealed, but they're kind of closed down in there. But then they emanate out of the joint. Yeah, and I noticed that it suspended the diaper fairly close to the mouth of the, uh, of the pail yeah. uh, before dropping it in. That, that may have caused a little bit of the, of the issue as well. Maybe not the most recommended. Yeah. And then uh, finally, we've got the Munchkin diaper pail mm -hmm. with uh, Arm & Hammer. Yes, powered by Arm & Hammer. And you know what, I think that might be the key. 
because it, it, the bulb, the, the baking soda bulb, dumps a little baking soda down on the diaper, neutralizes the stank. I think maybe the key for this, as in a lot of things, a really tight sphincter. Yes. When you look at the top of that uh, of that diaper pail, it's mm -hmm. got a real it's got a real good tight seal on that thing. Yeah. I think that's yeah. what keeps the stank from emanating. And I have to say that there's nothing worse than coming into your house and just getting the first thing when you hit the door is that diaper smell. Yeah. It makes you embarrassed about having people over. It makes you very self-conscious. So I would have to say that, is it worth it to get a specialized diaper pail? Yes. Yes. And if you are, you really should take a look at this Munchkin diaper pail powered by Arm & Hammer. Well, that's the conclusion of our highly scientific lab report today. Join us next time for more baby proofing tips and look for our eBooks on dadlabs.com. What do you really need to prepare your home for the arrival of a new baby? To find out, pick up your copy of the newly released Sane Parents Guide, Getting Your Home Ready for Baby. Available for download at Amazon.com. Brought to you by Dad Labs and Baby Bjorn, two of the most trusted names in the baby care business. At Dad Labs, we usually espouse a very minimalist approach to preparing your home for the arrival of a new baby. Single-use, overly specialized products usually don't make the cut with us. Which is why today we're asking the tough question, do you really need a diaper?